The first year student Molly is obsessed with the Blackpink band. Today, all their fans' lives will change. Blackpink announced a casting. They're looking for a new band member. Molly is ready to go over the head and crush everything on the way to her dream. Oh, another casting to the BTS band. Molly hates them, stupid boys. And their fans are boring nerds, so annoying. It seems like her room is the only place to hide from them. But why is the BTS poster here? It's like a full-scale invasion of her privacy. Molly, meet your new neighbor. It's Gabriel. Stupid BTS fans ruin such a beautiful day. Gabriel has just moved in, and the room is already full of his posters. He didn't even unpack his things. It's obvious that the room will never be clean anymore since he's here. He's got the nerve to boss around, and he's gonna take away Molly's most precious thing. It won't happen. No. He needs to put it back no. now. But Molly's cool only in her head. In real life, she's even afraid of Gabriel. What? A BTS sign? It's too much. Molly decided to focus on the casting because then she'll move out and live with her idols. Because of her mom's cupcakes, she's got the body parts that won't fit in the jeans. Exhausting workouts will help her get rid of them. She should give the cupcakes to Gabriel next time. The moment of pleasure is not worth it. Sweat is pouring off Molly like the soda at Burger King. This exercise bike also generates electricity for the whole building. Gabriel hasn't charged his phone yet. Molly's running out of energy and needs some serious motivation. What can be a better motivation than becoming your favorite band member? She's going for the record, and Gabriel's finally online. He scrolled through the entire TikTok feed, and it's really missing him. The world must hear him singing to understand how they shouldn't do it. Molly doesn't support violence, but now she's sure sometimes it's quite reasonable. The earplugs are her last hope. Living with a BTS fan is the worst nightmare come true. Her ears made an attempt on the K-pop star. He's not popular yet, but he's already got his first hater. Molly has no time to be mad at Gabriel. She needs to rehearse for the casting. This is her chance, and she can't miss it. The music should be loud. The louder, the cooler. Her older brother was in the Sum 41 band. He taught her the sound should be at the maximum. And most importantly, he helped her put her new neighbor in his place. But this way, she can destroy the whole room. Molly decided to build instead of breaking everything. The guitar shelf is a great idea. She just has to figure out where to hang it. Of course, she needs to take an empty space on the wall before a BTS poster appears. Gabriel has been admiring his idols all day long. He really fits into the band perfectly. His treasure is safe, so he can go to bed. Molly's just waiting for Gabriel to close his eyes. The faces of the BTS members really annoy her. She even decided to get to this picture through the laser protection. The alarm went off, caramba! Gabriel woke up, and the criminal was caught red-handed. He can't believe his eyes. His neighbor ruined the most precious thing in his life. A laser burned through the photo. There would be a revenge, but the delivery guy came. It's a gift for the best fan of the best band. And now they're arguing who it was meant for. The delivery guy didn't wait for the tip. Why would the K-pop fans have any money? OK, it's going to last forever. Guys, write in the comments who you would give the box to, a BTS or a Blackpink fan. Molly deserves a candy after her workout. And she suddenly noticed her Blackpink picture in the trash can. Who did this? There's only one suspect. She should stop compromising with this BTS fan. This is Molly's shelf with her things on it. The guy needs a bedside table or a shelf. The music's always helped him, and this time is no exception. His favorite song gave him the shelves for his favorite singer's pictures. Now Molly can't reach them. <laughs>
the Campus Cafe, a place to eat and talk with your peers. Gabriel practices healthy eating. Oh, Molly's looking for a seat, but there's only one left next to the neighbor she hates. His presence spoils the appetite, but there's no choice. Today, the cafe has a limited menu. All that's left is a cucumber salad in the shape of BTS. Molly's allergic to this. The waiter knows Gabriel. He's also in a secret BTS fan community. Molly sneezed while powdering, pretending she didn't mean to. And the whole prank moved to Gabriel's face. Bon appetit, Joker. The guy decided to make the most out of the situation. Molly dreams about having fun with the Blackpink members every night. These are just the dreams so far, but they will become a reality soon. I wish someone loved me the way she loves this band. Today, Molly dreams that she's on the stage and tens of thousands of fans are chanting her name. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to say, she suffers from sleepwalking. It means she walks in her sleep and does different stuff. It doesn't matter because her dream life is much cooler than the boring reality. She's having a big moment right now. But the fans didn't catch her again. And it hurts even more that it was all caught on camera. No, just don't post it on TikTok. Wait a minute. The video is getting views and likes really fast. Molly is the new trend. She's incredibly popular. Gabriel has a lot of fake accounts for such situations. Get some dislikes, neighbor. A bad surprise for a newly made blogger. Please, like this video to defeat the villain neighbor. Oh, thank you, guys. How do you like it, Gabriel? Hmm, he didn't even survive one round. Playtime's over. Molly needs to go on with her casting preparation. The war with the neighbor takes a lot of energy. She needs to focus on her goal. Molly looked up some vocal warming up exercises on YouTube. Wow, maybe it's better to go to a real singing teacher. He could tell her she has no talent. But she doesn't give up. Hey, this young talent broke my camera. You will pay for this. Enough singing for today. She's much better at making crafts out of nothing. Photo frames that look like notes. Very original. These are the only notes she can hit. <laughs> Molly needs new clothes for the casting. She breaks into the world of shopping. Hmm. Molly found a real diamond among the expensive branded items. Wow. A black pink sweatshirt. For her, it's sacred, like a oh cow in India. People around her think she's crazy, but she's just a fan. Okay, it's the yes. same thing. She doesn't care if anyone sees it. It's stupid to be ashamed of your love. She decided on her purchase too quickly. But Molly got it all wrong. The hanger costs $10. The sweatshirt will cost her 200 bucks. Of course, the student doesn't have so much money. And her shopping is over. Dad taught Molly to never give up. She can always earn money. She decided to sell the most expensive thing. Her favorite band's mm -hmm. autograph. She found a buyer quite quickly. Of course, it's sad to give away the things she <laughs> fell asleep and woke up with every day. But maybe it's time to grow up and move on. Yes. <laughs> of course it's not. That's ridiculous. Only this loser salesman needs to grow up. Molly is making a new craft. She found some useless records that only take up space in the room. She can make something more functional from them. A little glue, a little fabric, the scissors. What else can she spoil? Oh, right, the neighbor's belt. Now she has a music bag. Looks very stylish and strange. Oh, Gabriel is back. He noticed Molly's new thing right away. He's looking for his favorite records that she ruined. She needs to hide all the evidence. The guy wanted to drink some tea, but not so fast. It's not his mug and not his tea. Everything on the lower bunk belongs to Molly. Then Gabriel will take it without asking. But he thinks it isn't stealing. His throat is just dry. 
Molly is always one step ahead. It's not so easy to fool her, but he can try. The greedy girl is drinking from three cups at once, just so the neighbor doesn't get anything. Gabriel drew BTS on the mug. Molly will never drink from it again. And he draws well. The guy has a talent. But the girl doesn't like it at all. The boys look too pretty. The trouble came out of nowhere. Gabriel caught some virus when a homeless man on the street convinced him he was his real father and asked for all his money. He never saw the homeless man again. And all that's left is a disease. It's also a problem for Molly. He gave her money to the homeless man, too. And now it's raining snotty napkins. Ugh, so disgusting. He ran out of napkins and wants the most precious thing Molly has. A napkin from the roadside cafe where she met her idols and got their autographs. Gabriel's health is more important. Maybe. I'm not sure. He spoiled his neighbor's holy treasure. When Molly saw it, she was horrified. She can't believe a human could do this. It's an atrocity. Gabriel will regret what he did. And now, Molly has an anti-stress session. A warm shower. What? Someone is watching her. It's one of those losers from BTS. Ew, what's he doing here? It must be her imagination. Molly's just tired. Or is it someone's cruel joke? For example, Gabriel's. Molly will have to make an appointment with her therapist. The BTS band follows her everywhere. She's already getting paranoid. She needs to calm down. But how can she calm down? These BTS are everywhere. It's her worst nightmare. Is this not Gabriel's trick anymore? Oh, how cute. He's calming her. Or simply mocking the poor girl. She'll never forgive him. But Molly repaid him with his own coin. Today is very important. It's the casting day. The queue starts from the very entrance. What? The casting is over? What do you mean? They haven't seen Molly yet. Is that all? Her dreams won't come true? But what if they create their own band? It's a great idea. Hold on, K-pop. The Black oh. TS band is coming. Molly thought her name would be perfect. And Gabriel doesn't think so. His name sounds much cooler. He and his mom think so. And that's almost everyone. Guys, maybe you can come up with a name. Write your opinions in the comments. It'll be fun. Let's go. Someone called Molly. It's urgent. Someone's taking time off. There's a problem to solve. Let's see what's on her mind. Molly and Nick are ready to go. First, they need to clear out all this stuff they don't need. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. They're taking this really seriously. Great job. Soon, they'll be eligible for the Best Big Sibling Award. Or that's what they think, at least. Nick can handle these blueprints, right? He just has to figure out which side is up. He did it! He earned some ice cream. Hey, Nick, that's all wrong. Hmm. He's doing his best, though. And thanks to Maisie, he has a blue fingernail. Don't be mad. She just wants to play. So play with her. Hmm. Okay. What can you use to hammer in nails? That's a complicated question. Can you help us choose? Comment your answers down below. Nick is a little overconfident in his construction abilities. If not for Molly, he'd be trapped under a stack of logs right now. Maisie deserves the best. Every Disney princess should be jealous. The castle has a window and a princess now. Nick is trying to shoot it out with an arrow. That's dangerous. We don't need to resort to violence. Just think outside the box. How about we paint the castle Maisie's favorite color? Molly has to guess it first. A good sister would just know it. Maybe this? Yep. But Nick got a little dirty. He's such a mess. 
We need to help him tidy up. Molly got a little carried away and even erased some freckles. She keeps forgetting her brother's a redhead. Thank goodness he still has his nose. Awkward. Okay. <gasps> Let's study the blueprints more closely. There's a slide here. We need to find one. Nick has an idea. What if we pretend to be water park employees and steal one? He did it! Sure. Maisie's going to have her own slide. Wow, this castle might turn out better than expected. Let's make windows in the tower. That looks cool. Maisie will have fun peeking out at her knight in shining armor. The castle turned out so well that even Molly and Nick want to live in it. These windows need curtains. Nick has an idea. His magician's hat is full of tool. The curtains are done. Maisie will love them, especially if we tell her where they came from. Oops, here's the secret to the trick. This is Molly's prom dress. Building this house is tricky. Nick brought a bunch of bricks. Where to get them? Oh, the neighbor lost a wall, but Nick gained some bricks. What? Molly already has pink bricks. Nick is such a weirdo. It's time to work. Making the outside is important. The walls have to be strong enough to protect our little princess. Nick has to apologize to the neighbor and give her the bricks back. People say their neighbor is dangerous. Nick has changed for the better. Or has he? He's not above okay. cheap tricks. Maisie isn't helping her siblings. She's just getting in the way. She wants Molly and Nick to walk a mile in her shoes. But they're doing this all for her. We have to distract her. How about making her sort beads? That'll keep Maisie busy for a few hours. She gets bored and falls asleep fast. Now we can keep building the towers. They're sticking close to her model. It has to be exactly how she wants it. We need two towers. Nick is part of the wizard club at school. The teacher cloned himself. The towers are done. Nice job. But wait, Nick noticed that they did it upside down. No, wait, he's just confused. Turns out the seniors hold him upside down a lot. Looks like Molly thought of something. We need a ladder. We have one, but now we need to paint it. Nick is being so unfair. He'll have to make Molly's wish come true too. He didn't understand the only book he's ever read. And he doesn't understand anything now either. His sister looks different. Or maybe the paint is toxic? That's enough hallucinating. Get back to building. The ladder is done. They're doing a great job. But Nick is getting a little carried away. He's planning something. Whoa, what a surprise. Flowers and birds are perfect for a princess. We should slip into something more comfortable. How strong is the castle? We forgot to put an interior in. The sticker is the only good looking part. We'll have to fix this. Nick is going to look for something pretty in his room. But he's just grabbing whatever he sees. How is this going to look? Molly is going to get things from her room too. She has more stuff that matches the vibe. We can use all of it. Where is this going to go? Let's see. That looks pretty good. But Molly is such a perfectionist. She hates this empty corner. Nick can fix it. Our parents' room has a footstool that dad likes to use. Not anymore. This is the perfect place for dad's footstool. And let's add a bow. Now it looks perfect. <laughs> Maisie's toys are all over the floor. That's no good. 
Mm -hmm. Nick is relaxing in his hammock. But this string isn't holding anything. Except Nick. Sorry, we need this. Quit resting. It's time to work. Molly made this net to hold Maisie's toys. Now they have their own storage place. <laughs> the toys like being organized, too. <laughs> okay. Now let's see how secure this is. The ladder holds Molly and Nick. What about the slide? They're ready to initiate the test flight. This is fun. But now Nick's cheating. Nick loves Troom Troom Trick. Their life hacks inspire him. They'll have to use mom's necklace. Be careful, Nick. He's not careful at all, actually. Okay. Molly should watch where she steps. The floor could be covered in traps or useful things. That was a nice accident. She just got so many ideas. Wow, this is the perfect chandelier. Molly can't wait to see Maisie's reaction to the castle. She loves it. They worked so hard. Nick noticed that Maisie's picture has a green lawn. But they just have tile. Where can they get grass? From the neighbor's yard. There are also tools and materials to build a fence. The neighbor's fence is Maisie's fence now. They work hard. They'll do anything for Maisie. They'll be the best siblings in the world soon. As soon as they have a lawn, here come the picnickers. This isn't a park. It's private property. And so is everything on it. Nick can do whatever he wants. Time to go. We forgot to turn our oven off. But they forgot their fruit. It's Nick and Molly's picnic now. The siblings came up with a cool lamp with a smart bulb. It has 999 different functions. One for every mood. This one seems wrong. Molly is trying to turn it off so the cops don't come. Again. False alarm. Sorry, officer. Uh, another emergency call. You better go serve and protect while Molly figures out this app. The lamp is attracting butterflies like crazy. Nick is trying to catch them. Oh, is that what he's doing? Could have fooled me. Molly thinks that's cruel. But Nick just wants to use them as decorations. No, that's animal cruelty. Just cut butterflies out of paper. It's a beautiful and cruelty free. Nick stole his mom's pillow. It's so soft. Molly wants it for herself. But Nick hates sharing. Nick is happy to ruin everything to get what he wants. Now it's torn. What do we do now? Nick is going to have to fix it. The stuffing can turn into clouds. Wow. Here's Maisie. She brought a bag of beads. We forgot they asked her to sort them. But we built her dream castle. She loves it. But what are these beads for? Nick doesn't have a good answer. But Molly does. It's to make hearts. Your favorite. They can go right on the door. Now we can show her the inside of the castle. Hopefully, she'll love it and forgive One, us. Two, three. And she does. It's even better than she imagined. Now she knows how much her siblings love her. They're the best siblings in the world. A secret room in the attic is every teenager's dream. Nick and Emma have something to keep them busy. Maybe now they'll stop fighting? Not for long. Bullying your sister is mean. He bullied someone else, too. Mr. Spider has something to say to Nick. Why are you running? Aren't you a tough guy? Come back! Nick definitely doesn't look like a tough guy anymore. Is he gonna get superpowers now? Not unless you count driving your sister crazy as a superpower. The walls make Emma even crazier. 
time to put her art school training to use. All this pink stuff will make Nick mad, and the hearts will make him even madder. Don't you have room for love in your heart? <laughs> Look how grumpy he is. He ruined Emma's plans. If you don't like it, do it yourself. Inspiration is everywhere. Nick is making Lego walls. That looks cool. Even better than Emma's walls. All the pieces are on. Or are they? Finally, Nick's toys are out of the way. This is starting to come together. Nick has never been famous for his skills, but he's feeling motivated. He's great at this. Now he has a wooden couch. Mm, a little too wooden. The couch, not Nick. Paint will fix it. Or not. This couch isn't really comfy. Ooh, wow. Emma is impressed, and she has an idea for how to make it softer. That's perfect. <laughs> Yay. Nick made a cool couch, and Emma doesn't have anything. How can I cheer her up? It's obvious. Guess who? A present. Wow. <laughs> This chair cheered up Emma right away. Good thing she doesn't have a mirror. This makeup look isn't the best. This attic is now the kids' secret room. Finally, the kids aren't fighting. Emma can't stop decorating. There's no such thing as perfect. Emma is looking for something to put on her side of the wall. Yes. Ooh, a tablecloth. Good thing she took some magician courses. And now the tablecloth is going to disappear! <laughs> nice canopy, Emma! Nick is going to study the map some more. Maybe there's more treasure to find! Nick starts heading down the trail. He's almost there. So close! There's a dragon on the map. But there's just a lock in real life. How can Nick open it? Do you see a passcode anywhere? Comment it below! Nick never notices anything. Nick found an old Batman costume in the attic. Aw, it doesn't fit anymore. The mask isn't coming off. What about your superpowers? Let's find a different use for this. This used to be a person, and now it's a hanger. It's hard to do makeup without a mirror, so Emma orders herself one online. That was fast, but the reflection is weird. Where did these wrinkles come from? Something is wrong here. Oh, it's just the packaging plastic. Nick managed to calm her down. Nick is practicing his three-pointer. Hitting your sister? 100 points! The fans are loving it. And here's his trophy. It looks like a trash can. No, it doesn't. It's actually an awesome basketball hoop. Emma made herself a shelf, and Nick is going on a date. <laughs> Emma needed another fastening. But Nick needs a tie and a belt. Emma used those already. He can't go on a date like this. Nick found an old nightstand and dragged it into the attic. It won't open. Should he go to the gym? Is it stronger than he is? Violence is not the answer. Warmth and kindness will always get a good result. Even on Nick. His favorite dinosaurs. He thought a meteor destroyed them. Nick doesn't have a lot of interests. But this old box that Emma found is pretty cool. An Oscar figurine and a photo. Gotta get that. And everything else, too. What's her problem? The whole point of a baby sister is taking her stuff. Nick has his own plans for this. He needs a lamp. Emma's not jealous at all. Nope. 
She's so impatient that she already has a plan ready. She's so happy for him that she totally forgot about his dust allergy. Don't underestimate kids. Nick is pretty sure he just came up with a new TikTok trend. His account, Disco Nick, is going viral. Two whole likes. He'll borrow some props from his sister. I would totally promote her account. So we better take this. Nick and horror movies don't mix. Emma's gonna sleep through it all. Her snoring is only making it scarier. He'll have to finish the movie. What's going on? Maybe the parents kept them out of here for a reason. Is it haunted? Nick is such a scaredy cat. He has an overactive imagination. Like our new video? Then be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.